In this video, I want to talk to you about creating email forwarders. And in the mail panel of your cPanel control panel, what we're talking about is these guys right here, forwarders. Now, while there may be several different reasons why you would want to create a forwarder of your email accounts, my main reason is time, saving time. Time is money, so in this case, I'm going to be saving money too. Now, as far as the forwarders, Basically, and what I mean by that is that I've got several domains and each domain I have at least three email addresses assigned to that one domain. My name, sales, and support. Now there may be several other emails, but that would just save me that much more time if I were to forward those also. So I forward each and every one of my emails to a main email account and that main email account is kind of a catch-all for all my emails. So I need to go to one email address to check my emails, not a bazillion different email addresses, which takes a lot of time. Now, these forwarders, they allow me to see not just the email, but the email address they were sent to. So whenever I reply, then that reply comes from that particular email address, not from the one they were forwarded to. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, that's pretty much the why. Let's go ahead and tackle the how. Go ahead and click on the forwarders link. It's very simple too, by the way. Now, of course, to do this, you have to already have the email addresses created, which is done by clicking on the email accounts link here. So once you've got your email addresses created and you want to forward them to a different email address, click on add forwarder. Choose that email address that you've created, and if you've got several different domains, then you want to make sure you've got the right domain and the right email address that you're going to be forwarding. And this is my name at my domain name. I'm going to forward it to my main Gmail account. Assuming, of course, that would be my main Gmail account. Click on Add Forwarder, and it's done. That's how simple it is. And it shows right here what is taking place. Now, if we go back, there'll be a running list of all the email forwarders that you create here. You can use the trace link and you can delete them. Now, if you wanted to just not worry about individual email addresses to be forwarded, you can just forward all of them that are assigned to a particular domain name using this option right here, the add domain forwarder. The process is basically the same as adding a forwarder to an individual email address, only this way you're doing it to everything that might come into that domain in the form of an email. And that is how you create an email forwarder.